Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Modes. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a little look at this M10 video doorbell. You can buy the expensive ones for about £200. This was from Wish for about 20 quid. So I'm not expecting massive results out of it. However, I would like it to work if possible. Um, it comes with event feedback, um, playback, two ways record videos, um, and also images as well. You can, you can take screenshots or whatever. It's got over about 20 different chimes it does, and it's got a 50 meter strong um, uh, zoom out on it so it will detect that apparently it's got like a night vision on it as well and uh, you, you can talk to other people on it as well that sort of thing it uh, requires three 18650 batteries to power the device not supplied um, and it also comes with this little tiny um, doorbell chime which will uh, which will play different different styles of tunes and what have you um, apparently it's going to be quite loud is what I've been hearing but it was a volume control and all that sort of stuff you just pair that to your wi-fi and then that, that should that should work. You can set it to English as well. Not really quite sure, haven't looked a great deal into it. We're sort of playing off the hip, really. But what I want to do, the reason I, I want this, this device, and if it does, does work to a degree, I might even upgrade to the expensive one, is that when Mrs. P is out the house shopping or wherever, Riley Boy is indoors, he's, he's safe indoors, the front door is locked, he can't get out, but no one can get in, and he has no interface with any strangers because Riley Boy will just go off with absolutely anybody due to his additional needs. So what generally happens is someone knocks on the door, he comes out and tells them that Postman Pat's turned up or there's someone at the door, that's what generally happens. But when I'm in the workshop, um, which is a good 175, 200 meters away from the house, I want to be able to see who's at the front door and be able to communicate with them if need be. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this M10 video doorbell from Wish. Okay, so in the box, you're gonna get um, a little tiny polythene bag, which comes with your, your um, device inside it. It's got a little tiny cover on that, we'll take that cover straight off. Uh, your device then splits, um, because you've got this, this wall mounting bracket, which has got 3M tape on the back, but also has a screw hole, which does actually screw into your device, so no one can pinch it. If someone does pinch it, allegedly this will give an alarm off and tell you that someone's walking away with your camera, so that's quite good. Because I've got a brand new front door, I'm gonna be using the 3M tape initially, just to put it to it to make sure the device works. Um, inside here is where your free 18650 batteries will go, just inside there, and there's a QR code scanner just there as well for you. Now, you need to download an app to make sure that this works. Uh, let me just grab my phone. And the app is called, um, let's have a little look-ski. Uh, the app is called, just recently installed it. It'd be here somewhere. So you need to download this app here. It's called a XSH Cam, okay? Now, there's been some reviews done on this, um, and um, the reviews are not good but it all depends what camera they've actually purchased. So you just don't know what camera they've actually purchased. It may be a more expensive one than mine, or it may be a cheaper option. So let that download, do its thing, and then we carry on. Once that app has been downloaded, in your box, you've got a box of fixing bits and pieces, and you've also got your quick start guide, which is brilliant. So, so read and digest that. Uh, once you've read through it, it tells you exactly, exactly what you have got in your, in your um, package, but then it brings you over to this. It tells you here to download that app I just told you about. And then you've got your Apple app, you've got your Google Play, and you've got your, your Android app. And you just scan the relevant code that you've got for your device. And then it gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to, how to pair it and how to link it all up, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you read the instructions. Quite simple, quite straightforward. And then what I'm then going to do, I'm then going to go up into the house and we're going to... Um, set this device up hopefully um, one other note is that when you are um, getting your 18650 batteries you don't want the flat heads which are completely flat you want the ones that just got a slight proud positive terminal to them don't buy the ones that have got the complete flat head they're, they're, they're no good for this device so let me um, take this upstairs into, uh, into the house sorry and um, we'll get it all powered up put the batteries in, in the camera all that sort of good stuff and then uh, once we get up there we'll carry on the video and try to install this machine okay so we're up in the house you may get a bit of interference wash machines going mrs p walking around the riley boy also um is also here as well he'll be he'll be here very very shortly um all you've got to do apparently is to plug this plug this device into the wall so you're by, by the front door 
and then you've got your volume control here and here. You've got five levels of volume control and the lowest level is mute, okay? And you just choose your, des your desired one. To pair this with your um, Wi-Fi device, you've got a little tiny Wi-Fi symbol there. You just hold it down for about five to 10 seconds and it should automatically pair with your device. That's the theory. So I'm gonna plug it in now and uh, do that very quickly. And I'll come back with that once that's done. Okay, so the new um, device is now installed, which is just down hither. Uh, it is quite loud to be fair. Um, I need to adjust the volume. Um, and as I say, all you do is just hit the volume control buttons to go up and down for your for your desired um, tune that you want. But we got nothing too loud to be fair, so we'll leave it at that for now. And as I say, all you then do is hold your um, Wi-Fi button down and that will then link to your Wi-Fi. Hold down at five seconds and that should then pair. Like so that should be paired. So we're, we're now gonna fit the other device um, onto the outside door, put the batteries in and we we'll go from there. Okay, so the device itself, um, just slide the back off and then the uh, the battery cover as well, take that off. And then you've got your three eighteen six fifty batteries which weren't supplied. Um, they just go round like so, the one in there. Uh, I think it'll go the same way to be fair. All go the same way. And there's your device now powered up, which is good. Let me just put that cover back on. I might go that way, it goes that way, yeah. That's it, that's now on. And that's your device now, now powered up. But now what we need to do is go over to my phone and in the quick startup guide, I need to scan this app that I was on about earlier on. So let me go to the app and we find that, wherever that is. Uh, there it is, just there. Uh, yeah, allow that, allow that, allow that. Yeah, that will then fire up prompt. Please set notifications, permissions to get push notifications, okay. Um, uninstall, that's all fine. Let's open it up, yeah. Front camera display, auto, yeah, that's on. Floating windows, no. So to set up, set a device up. Power on the device and wait for the voice prompt enter configuration status observer um, and the blue device light um, flash is blinking. So power on the device, which is now there. So it says to, pro so it says to push the reset button on the back which is here, so let's just reset it. Hold it in for three or four, three to four seconds. Just to, uh, that's been reset. It says something, it says something in Chinese, that's cool. That's now been reset. And now we've got, now we've got a flashing light maybe. Yeah, that's now flashing. Begin pairing, yes. You need to turn on the phone location feature. Uh, Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. So go off to your Wi-Fi stuff and uh, get your Wi-Fi name and your password and I'll come back. Okay, so I put my Wi-Fi name and password in there. I'm gonna sync configuration. That says it's beginning pairing, bit of a noise. It's looking for a device. 11%, 12%, this took could take a little while. So now it's been paired. is connecting to the device, so uh, the device and password. So I need to give it a device name, I think, and confirm the password. Um, let's put um, front door, and we'll give it a password. Put the password in, and I'm now gonna confirm the password. Please select your device location. Uh, Non-Chinese, uh, please select where the device is located. Uh, Non-Chinese mainland, I'm gonna put, I think. There's not a lot of information there for you. Uh, front doorbell, add a device. We decide we want to play this. So now we've got the camera now set up. Uh, there's me, look, there's a gorgeous old me. So the camera's now working, which is good. You've got front door and you've got SD video. Um, you can possibly now speak as well. 
Yeah, that's working. You can take a screenshot, or you can also record, record a video as well, so it will actually record. There's a little bit of lag, to be fair, about three or four seconds lag, so that's now all working. So hopefully now what we can now do is, is put this onto the door, and then we get someone to push it and see what happens. But now when I push the doorbell, it rings here, and then after about two or three seconds, I get a little tiny alert come up, just here. And it takes two or three seconds to connect, but there you go, it does actually work. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm now gonna put that onto the wall and I'll give it a bit of a dry test, see what actually happens. Okay, so now the um, doorbell is now outside, which is not quite where I want it yet. I wanna angle it slightly differently just so I can see what's coming up the driveway, it'd be good. Riley, can you go outside for me and um, push the doorbell for me? Sure. I'll come out of there. So Riley boy's now gonna, ex uh, gonna uh, push a doorbell. Daddy? Yeah? I'm Hang on, mate. Give it a second. Did you push a big button? There you go, I've now got an alert. So now, can you go by the doorbell, Riley? What? Can you go by the doorbell? Sure. Just so it's a second to, to load. He may not be tall enough. Can you go, go, go and see the camera? Go and see the camera. What camera? On the front of the doorbell. Can you see it? So there's little Riley boy. Yep, yeah, there's little Riley boy just there. Um, wait there. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? There you go, and that's Riley Boy talking to me now, so that actually works. It wants to be a bit lower, um, but what you can do, you can take a screenshot, bomb, that's a screenshot captured, or you can record a video as well. So that seems to work pretty well. Just got to link it up with the actual doorbell itself, and then we'll go from there. I'll get Mrs. Peter to try it out very quickly, just so she's a bit taller, and hopefully that'll work a bit better. Right, so I've now got Mrs. P outside. Um, and the doorbell's already picked her up, she hasn't even pushed a button yet. So that's good, the motion is actually working. Um, Mummy, can you push a button please? Yes. So she's now going to push a button. We've got a notification come through. Give it a few seconds just to come through. It does take a little while just to pick it up. Someone's ringing your doorbell. Um, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, do you want to come in? Please. <laughs> okay, I'll get right to open the door for you. So there you go, there's Mrs. P. So that works. It's a little bit glitchy. It is a little bit for what you expect for 20, for 20 quid, but it does work. Okay, so this is now going to be the test. I'm now down actually in the shed, which is um, well, you know, a good 250 um, metres away from my front doorbell. So now I'm going to give Mrs. P a quick ring just to get her to push the doorbell. Let me give a quick ring. Or get Riley to do it, as long as someone does it, that's all that matters. Let me just ring him up very quickly. It's ringing. Yeah, I can hear Riley say it's daddy. Hello? Uh, Riley, can you go and push a doorbell for daddy and hang up? Uh, why are you calling me? Yeah, go and push a doorbell. Press that. Yeah? Now go and push the doorbell. Huh? Hang up. Right, so now, now they've got the message, they're now going to go and push a doorbell for me. So I'm now hoping to see an alert come up here. They're going out to the front door. Don't forget, there is a slight delay. Let's see if it'll pick it up. I've got Wi-Fi here, so this should link. That, 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 that's the theory, that's for hope. Hopefully we'll get a, uh, a notification come through. Oh, there you go, front doorbell. So let's power that up. It says low battery, but that's not true. Let's have a look. Um, ha uh, hello? Okay. Uh, it's Daddy, I'm down in the shed. I can't, I can't see you. Why? Where are you? <laughs> right here. But I can't see you. Yeah. Oh, hi Daddy, yeah. you're here. Go, go, go by the car so Daddy can see you. Where is he, Mummy? What? What did you say, Daddy? I can't see you. I'm here. Go near the camera. Go near the camera. Oh, come here. What camera? 
You're a bit short. You're a bit tall. What am I? So, uh, Mummy, yeah, Mummy, can you go in the front of the camera just so we can see you, Mummy? There's Mrs. Pete, there she is. So now we've got Mrs. Pete, we can take a screenshot. That's a screenshot captured in case someone comes. There's Riley Boy. Hello, Riley. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much for doing the test. I'll see you soon. Bye, Daddy. Bye, boy. Bye-bye. So how good's that? So now I actually have um, a doorbell that I can speak to whoever's at the door. Um, whilst I'm 250 metres away in my own shed, and I know that Riley Boy is safe indoors, it will probably lead to a little bit of, um, of uh, problems here and there. I know there has been issues with notifications, I've got to set that to a bit louder, but do you know what, if I'm working nights, um, it backs up your photographs to, to the drive as well, but if I'm working nights, and Mrs P texts me and says, I think there's someone outside, all I've got to do is go into my app, which would be here, click onto it, it's got to find it, push play, two seconds darling, and I can actually tell who, who's outside my house. So if I angle it a bit more, I can then tell uh, who's up my driveway and what have it. If anyone wants to break into the car, take a screenshot and we've got it. Okay, there you have it. That's the um, M10 um, smart doorbell for 20 quid uh, from China. Yep, it's got a few glitches to it and may take a little while to connect, but I can also just have a little tiny check at nighttime bits and pieces in case I hear a noise. All those sort of things work. Riley Boy absolutely loves it. Um, so I'm gonna try it out for a little while, see how we get on with it. I managed to pair up the, um, the chime as well. You've got to hold it down for about three or four seconds until it stays on, and then you hit your, you hit your doorbell button and it, and it pairs. That's quite straightforward to do. <clears throat> so I managed to do that. It works. It does exactly what it says on the tin. I've also got photographs, still shots of Mrs. P and Riley Boy outside the house. So if anyone is snooping around, you just, take, just hit a button, take a screenshot, and there's your evidence for the police should wish to do so, anything like that. So super, super fantastic. Actually, for what it is for £20, you can't really complain, um, com considering that the, the expensive ones are right up there. So super happy, hope this little video helps you out. I hope you found it informed you. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for any future notifications, videos and live streams, which I do on a Saturday night at um, half past six UK time. I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take it easy.